Blog Talk Radio. I let a bitch get away with something last night. I shouldn't have let her get away with it. And, and, and I'm saying, if you're trying to make having bitches a business, you already fucked. Mm. Mm. You're listening to your number one radio station. Rosebud, better dope. That's right. That's what the motherfuckers end up saying. Fucking with me. Hey, 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 you know what? Uh, you know, different shit be going on with me. And I'm going to do you guys that really want to know something about this game. I'm going to do y'all a favor. Not really a favor. But I'm going to do y'all, you know, some good. Because I'm going to kind of get into it. The game, not the game game, but you know what to really do. Shit. I always give it to you straight. <laughs> you know this is the flyest goddamn radio show for motherfuckers like you. You ain't going to never find another motherfucker as qualified as I am to give it to you. You know I got a couple of masters. Uh, I mean, excuse me, a couple of BAs and a master and a PhD. Now. When you really skilled like that, you know, you ought to have people like you. See, I'm qualified to host this show and show you that the ropes of the game is real. There are ropes. There's boundaries. There's all sorts of things that you got to understand. Now, you know this show is brought to you by AskRosebud.com and DownToDirty101.com. Go to the insights. You can see my shit. You know, uh, if you notice, I ain't on Facebook trying to sell that shit. You know, I ain't on Facebook trying to start no shit. I ain't on Facebook trying to keep no shit going because I'm fucking with my school. I got so much going on. Man, I got a syllabus so, well, never mind. You motherfuckers all ain't in the school, so you ain't going to get to hear I'm going to try my best to never tell you shit that I'm doing, but but I'm such a bragging-ass motherfucker. I can't help but tell what I'm doing. So I ain't going to tell you how I'm doing it or how they learning it, but I'm still going to tell you when I make monumental moves, you know, when when I see my my alumni really, really getting this shit. (laughs) You know, I'm glad to see you motherfuckers especially the dudes that I'm dealing with, learning how to talk. Because, see, talking is not just one-liners. Talking is your ability, well, what base, what talking is based on. Of course, you got to know how to speak. You got to know the language, all this stupid-ass shit you motherfuckers be thinking. That ain't what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm talking about when it comes to conversation, what what talking is based on is how much you know about yourself. And I'm going to get into that. I, I'm going to let you motherfuckers understand that this shit is real. But before I do, I just want to say don't sleep on my MP3s. I'm telling you, CD Baby got them. They dope, and they make it clear that my shit is the best shit out there. And, 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 and like this down and dirty show, it's about the real answers that you motherfuckers going to experience with these hoes. It's about how to strengthen your belief in what it takes to have a, a lasting commitment to being a pimp. I mean, you got to understand the things I'm saying. If you don't know you, you don't know enough to speak about shit. Now, I'm going to try my best not to give nothing up tonight, but I got something I want to talk about. 
And if you want to call in, goddamn it, call in. Uh, the number is 657-383-0809. Call in, press 1, and you can speak to Mr. Bud. You know, my my, my course as far as what my doggone school is about, my, my, my school is about, it's really only one program, and it's a master's program. And it's so that the students... Well, I just always use athletes, but this is the best way you can understand. The athlete, the football player that catch the football and has to look down the field and think of where to go is the football player that's going to get his ass tackled. The football player that catch that goddamn football and as he catching it, turning and moving and doing whatever he needs to do. I ain't a football player, so I don't know, but I'm saying doing whatever he needs to do is the motherfucker that's liable to strike for the touch now. Why is that? Why is that? Somebody, answer me. Why is that? I mean, it's just a quick answer, goddamn. You got to act like I'm asking you to kill your mama or something, man. Come on, somebody press one. Why do the motherfucker that catch the ball and turn and start running and woo-woo, you know, and the motherfucker that catch the ball and look down the field, what's the difference between them? Uh-oh, nine ones. Oh, that's that motherfucking Sean. Sean, God damn it. I'm going I'm to get you. <laughs> I'm going to get you, man. What's going on, bud? <laughs> hey, I like that on, shit bud? you've been putting on there. On that in, in, in that group, motherfucker. I don't want to hear nothing about it, <laughs> but I'm just saying you, you and Treyon... You and Treyon, y'all some stars right now, man. Hey, no, not because you answering every goddamn thing, but because you answering like you're supposed to answer. And I ain't gonna say what, what you doing what? or none of that, you know, because <laughs> goddamn it, we ain't giving nothing away. But but I already told you how I wanted you guys to answer, didn't I? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so what I'm saying, just so you know. And that shit you sent me, don't send me shit else. I I am like that, but that's some dope shit. I, I don't I never that. read that. I never read that kind of shit because it's too fucking long. But I I knew you was gonna have <laughs> something to say, and I'm glad I read it because goddamn, you know. Wait, wait, wait till you see what I got for you, motherfuckers. But any goddamn way, what's up, man? What's the difference? <laughs> All right. What's so the I'm difference, man? Okay, okay. So the guy who don't have to look down the field, he's just doing what he practiced, and he don't got you. Don't have to take a split second to to, to look and to think and to try to adjust. You're gonna get tackled at that point. So you're supposed to just catch the ball and do exactly what you practice. Go right on autopilot. That's it. Okay, I'm gonna give you some game right now. And and you got to figure out what it is because we on the radio, right? So what I'm saying is that's not the right answer, man. You know, what okay. I'm saying is... I, I know what you're going to say. What yeah. I, you, you want me to go? You do? Okay. So, so it, yeah, so in life, so in life, uh, when you get put in a situation... Hey, 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 Sean, 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 Sean. Yeah, well, yeah. Don't... L- listen... Don't give away nothing in the class. And if you can't really see how to answer that without exposing what we doing in the class, then just fuck yeah, it. It ain't yeah. no big deal. Yeah. Because what I'm say saying is... Because I'm curious now. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not going to answer it either. Hey, hey listen. I'm not going to answer it either. I'm, I'm going to give you my answer to it. I know the yeah, answer yeah. to it. But I'm okay. saying... That's what you motherfuckers in SWU is going to learn. And it ain't going to be about no goddamn football. And you're going to learn to apply it the way a football player apply what you just said. And, you know, hit me hit me on the email. I'll put you up on the difference because I know you know it when I tell you. (laughs) It's just that you – hey, 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 it's It's just that you got – you got to think a certain way. I'm talking about in everything. Every fucking thing. 
You know, I think this. Hey, I think the same way. If if I if I seen this uh, recipe on TV, and I said I want to, you know, do it, I want to make that motherfucker. Man, I'm gonna back the TV up, and then I'm gonna goddamn uh, uh, see what the recipe is because I'm gonna write it down. Then I'm going to the store. I'm going to make that shit, and I'm going to do everything, period. I mean, what I'm saying is you got to be that way. And when you be that way, you have mastered it. <laughs> yes, sir. Hey. Yes, sir. We, 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 so we what, you understand what I'm saying? Do you don't say, yes. Sean, don't say shit about our shit. Everybody that that call in, everybody that call in that's in my shit, I'm gonna be monitoring the hell out of what you say. <laughs> I ain't trying to get shit away, you know. You know but you but what you I'm not. what I'm what I'm saying is, if you know what the uh, mastering program, I mean, if you know what a mastering program is about. You'll begin to understand what the fuck we doing, and yes, and, and and once you do, which you and and Trey, Trey and I, when y'all kick it, y'all are doing it. It's not that you don't know it; it's that you have to actually be able to visualize it by you know actually knowing what it is, so you can store it. Right now, you're doing shit right because you've been doing the right shit, but you don't really know what it is, so you can't store it. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Once the motherfucker show you what it, once the motherfucker show you what it is and show you how to use it, you're gonna be all right. All right. Now, <laughs> hey, hey, what's your you? No, you you was answering a question, but. You, you, yeah, it's yeah. cool. You, you was you was cool. Your answer was cool. All right, let me let me go ahead and get on with what I got to talk about. Hey, 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 call in if you want to now. It's it's, it's call in uh uh what is the fucking number? Six five seven three eight three oh eight oh nine. You know, uh <laughs> game is a motherfucker. Game is a motherfucker. Tonight I wanna you know, because I noticed Especially with the last fiasco I went through. None of these motherfuckers, and if you any one of these people, you you just don't have no substance. You don't understand game. Now, check this out. Now, somebody, listen to what I'm going to ask you. And hit one and tell me what I'm doing. What I'm saying is this. I made a post. And it, it was, you know, talking shit, woo, woo, woo. And then I said, you know, half you motherfuckers wouldn't make it in the streets because the number one rule in the street, if you run into a situation and the motherfucker don't call you by name or look you dead in your eye as he talk, you, you ain't in it. You got to stay out of it. Now, do you understand what I just said? I would think you do. So my question is, what would you think of a motherfucker that called and said, man, you know, that's how, he called me and he, because whatever. But what I'm saying is, man, is that how you took what me and you talked about? I said, nigga, what? I didn't know what he was talking about. Ain't the motherfucker going off, man, and telling me how I got to watch this and, you know, how he a real, you know, woo, 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 woo. And I said, man, you talking about that post I made? He said, yeah, man, we talked and it was between me and you. So my question is, what the fuck am I talking about right now? Eight three two. I see your ass. Come on. Yeah, this my ass. This KB man. You talking about a motherfucker facing you in the streets? You know what I mean? Like, if you got a, if you got something to say to me, man, say it to me when we face to face. Other than that, keep my name out your mouth. And that's why I would have left that at. 
Hey, 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 KB, KB. No, that's wrong. Now I'm gonna put you back in. Somebody else, come on. Come on, you motherfuckers. Goddamn, we ain't doing nothing but talk, talking on the goddamn radio. What <laughs> you guys are something else? The other eight three two five four seven. You ain't got nothing to say, Sean. I know you do. I ain't picking you. Five one six. You ain't got nothing to say. Another eight three two. Them Texas motherfuckers is in here. Seven zero two. I thought that that private number was Trey on, but if it was, I know he would have jumped in here. So I I don't know what's going on with y'all. Why you motherfuckers? Man, what you you got? <laughs> KB, I ain't picking you no more, man. Uh, eight three two five two five eight. What's up? It's Drew Bone. I didn't really hear the question, but say it one more time. It's not a question. It was a scenario. If you didn't hear it, you can't answer it. If you didn't hear it, you can't answer it. Hey, I can't repeat it. All right. All right. So so all you guys, (laughs) Texas motherfuckers, a lot of you motherfuckers, hey, all y'all some chumps because y'all ain't even pressing one. Uh, don't, these motherfuckers, at least Drew Bone did press one, but he didn't hear the shit, so he can't really get out. You know, 516702, you know, 347. See, this is why y'all chumps. And let me explain some shit to y'all. Hey, didn't I say in the post the number one fucking rule is if the motherfucker, if you run into some shit and a motherfucker is, you know, Whatever it is, saying whatever nasty shit. If the motherfucker don't mention your name, then you ain't supposed to be jumping in that shit. He got to look you dead in your eye as he say some shit for you to jump in the shit. That's the number one fucking rule of survival in the street. Now, Drew Bone, your motherfucking ass heard that. Where you at, nigga? Press one right now. I don't believe you, know. Is this you, uh, Drew Bone 2589? Uh, oh, I thought you could say something. You can't even listen. <laughs> is this you, Drew Bone? That is Drew Bone. Come on, you heard me just now. What's the answer? Oh, no, no, no. That one, I pressed that one on accident. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't you hear what I was saying? Yeah, you were saying something uh, of, of a nigga. No, no, no Drew Bone. Did you hear Drew Bone? Drew Bone. No. Did you hear what I said just now? Before I no, press I you in, did you hear? I, okay, you no, didn't, didn't hear it. Okay, no okay. problem. No, no, no problem. I, I clarified it, but you wasn't listening because you was doing whatever you was doing, taking care of your business. I understand. All right. So since ain't nobody, hey, 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 hey KB, I know you probably didn't thought of something that could possibly be right. But shit, man, I ain't getting you no second chance. You had a chance. And what I'm saying is, what I'm really saying is this motherfucker, without me mentioning his name, took that shit so personal that he had to call me and tell me he wasn't no punk and woo 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 and all this shit. And I, and I already said, if a motherfucker don't mention your name, this shit ain't about you. So, huh, I'm saying, now, KB, motherfucker, was you finna say that? I know you was finna say something like that. I doubt it. What, nigga? Come on. Nah, nigga, I disagree with that. Totally. I don't care, you know, I don't care what you, you did. See, hey, people come at you indirectly all the time. And this is my thing, like, hey, this, you say something hey, about hey, listen, brother, listen. Hey, hey, listen, yeah, listen. Yeah. That's what that that's what that fool said. Man, people be coming, you know, coming at you sideways and shit. Well, I say you got to be a sideways motherfucker to understand some sideways shit. Because I know if a nigga coming at you sideways, he ain't doing nothing but talking. Why should I right. respond to right. that shit? Right, right, my motherfucking ass, nigga. That ain't the. Hey, let me, let me, let me put you quiet, cause your ass gonna try to out talk me. Now he can't say shit. Hey, what I'm saying is, that's what I'm saying. You motherfuckers don't think. Motherfucker coming at you sideways, so you gonna get sideways with him. Yeah, you going to, you going to jail, 
you getting killed one of the two. So what I'm saying is where you win at, nigga, this motherfucking game is about winning. And if your fucking ass can't think fast enough, you're going to lose. And you can think that goddamn shit that you're trying to explain to me and motherfucker good. Because when you get out there and get in that shit, you lucky that you got past whatever the fuck it was because it only takes one time for you not to get past it. And you're lucky because you're saying that shit you're saying. And I'm not no chicken shit motherfucker, so I'm coming at you right now, now that you heard me. If you get the message, don't fucking interrupt me. Now, what the fuck you got to say? I'm back on. Can I talk? I said now what you got to say. Hey, check this out. The only thing I disagree with you, with what you said, at is when you said, unless somebody say your name, you shouldn't involve yourself. I have to totally disagree with that because if a motherfucker is attacking my brother, he's attacking me. <coughs> Point blank, period. Uh, hey, 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 listen. Hey, hey, listen. Hold up. Me. Wait a minute. Just a minute. You ain't going to be listened to because when I ask you to hold up, you should hold up. Say, man, see, this is why you would lose, fool. Ain't nobody talking about your brother, your family. That, man, that's no question. I gave you the scenario that I wanted you to address. But this is why you motherfuckers are so weak. You can't fucking address what is there to address. So you make up some other shit. And this other shit can support your weak ass thinking. Nigga, that's punk shit. Now, since you ain't interrupting me when I cut you off, now <laughs> what the fuck you got to say, man? I don't want to hear that punk shit. Oh, you on the road. You on the road tonight. I know I'm wrong. You, you, you took it somewhere else, man. I wasn't even meaning to go there, but you took it somewhere else. But, so. Yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, I'm fucking cut off. Yeah. Damn, hello? I'm going to keep cutting in and out. Hey, hey, you got, hey, 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 you there still? Hey, are you any? Nobody's there. Seven oh two. This this Drew Bone. Can you hear me? Okay, I got y'all but, now. I got y'all now. I got y'all now. I got y'all. Okay, come on. But uh, some kind of way, my phone dropped dropped the shit, man. <laughs> I fucking lost y'all. But we good now. Let's roll. Who who was I talking to? Nah, you was talking to another cat. Uh, K K B. No, that's I'm right. No, 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 I was talking to uh, 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 K B. K B, you still there? <laughs> okay, seven oh two. I got you open. What's up, bro? Uh, shit. I was just trying to make sure you got back on the line. But uh, since I'm here, uh, can you talk about having a uh, a long time ago? You said a pimp don't a pimp got a I don't give a fuck attitude, and I know it ain't just for a pimp. But uh, can you talk about that I don't give a fuck attitude? What 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 does that what do that mean to you? Basically, you don't give a fuck about what the next man uh, or the next motherfucker got think about you. Does that make you angry or what? I mean, does that mean you're angry or what? No, not necessarily, because you know. So- People make uh, faces sometimes. You know, white people, racist people make faces sometimes. Sometimes that shit get under my skin. Like, I'd be like, motherfucker, why are you making a face? Just because I'm walking past you, but, you know, hey, that's hey, why I say on. that. I don't... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me ask you this. You be honest. When you ask that question, motherfucker, why are you making a face when, when I'm walking by? You thinking that. Do you not know the answer? I usually just I I be like this motherfucker racist or some shit. No no I, no man, I ain't asking you that. I'm asking you, okay. do you know the answer to that question? No. You don't. 
I mean, I, where are you I, from, I think bro? I know. I'm from Tampa, no, Florida, no. born and raised. Let, let, hold up, hold up, brother, hold up. Listen, you call, you ask the question. Let's get to game about the shit. What I'm saying is, why the fuck would you not know why a motherfucking peckerwood is making some kind of goddamn face when you walk by? Do, uh, do you look like the average, you know, uh, you know, young motherfucking adult? You know, the dreads, maybe, I don't know. You know, sagging, I don't know. But I'm saying, how you look? Yeah, I got dreads, but I don't, I don't sag, but I got dreads, yeah. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, you know a peck of wood, you already a nigga. You now, they, now they see that shit. I mean, there's so much shit they do that for. Why am I saying this to you, bro? The, you basically telling me that it's some bullshit that be on that. Hold it's up, some bullshit hold, up. On. hold up, hold up. No, yes, I am telling you, but that's not why I'm telling you. What I'm saying to you, you asking me how do you, you know, talk about that don't give a fuck attitude. What I'm saying is with some shit jumping off and I already know the answer, which I already know the answer to damn near any goddamn thing going to happen in my life. And when I see it and it happens, why the fuck should I care about it? I'm going to deal with it as far as if I'm supposed to do this or that. Or I'm going to say, man, fuck that shit. Because it ain't worth my time. Fuck all that shit. I think like that about everything. I don't give a fuck. I give a fuck about my family. You know, I give a fuck about my projects and what I want to do. But outside of my house... I'm a, I'm in an environment that I can't control, so why should I let somebody draw me into the environment? Somebody do you know run crazy and almost run into me, or maybe I almost ran into them. This motherfucker gonna speed up on me and talk shit. I'm gonna just profusely apologize, man. I hope you don't take it too far, and if you do, I'm pulling over and stopping. I ain't finna get drew into that shit. What can happen? It's only two things. You kill him, and you go to jail for life. He kill you, and you dead. Well, three things. Or you go to the pen, fucked up. And, man, come on, man. This is about survival. This is about, you know, you in the streets. And it's too many things that can happen. If you in the streets, whatever happens in general life, you know, the odds of a motherfucker running into a fool that, you know, by the, uh, uh, what do you call it, road rage, you know, is like one in a million. But it happens. But if you in the street, them odds come down to maybe one in 200. I mean, uh, uh, 200 in a million. So you got 200 times in a year that you're going to run into that shit. Come on, man. Why would you be willing to risk your life because you want you you, you don't understand the hate uh, uh, fucking attitude? And since you don't, you just gonna be curious about why some motherfucker saying fuck you. It ain't nothing wrong with that. What's wrong is you don't answer the question. If you don't answer the question, then you gonna delve into. Whatever that shit is. So if you say, man, why that bitch looking at me like that? Oh, yeah. She see my motherfucking shreds. You know what I'm saying? I'm a young brother. You know, she's scared of brother and that stupid ass bitch. And when you walk by her, <laughs> you're going to look like a nigga more. You, you know what I'm saying? Nah, that's real. Hey, call her. And what I'm saying is when you walk by her, and, and you see she didn't, she damn near pissed on herself. You say, that's what you get for looking at me like that. And that's what you get for thinking that shit that look represented. Yeah. And you mm-hmm. ain't did shit. Hey, brother. Mm-hmm. What did I just do for you just now? You cleared oh, what, up. What do uh, you, hold on. What do you think I was trying to do for you just now? It showed me that I can still represent or be myself without some motherfucker worrying about who I am. And if the motherfucker got a problem with it, that's on them. And and be my motherfucking self because I'm going to be me for the rest of my motherfucking life. 
Hey, man, and don't be scared of what you know. Don't be scared of if you're sharp or not. I mean, you know, you got to, if you're sharp, you see that shit. And, 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 and you you just curious. But if you're not sharp, you see that shit, and you stop and look at it, what's wrong with you, bitch? <laughs> Come on. There's a lot of motherfuckers out there that'll do that shit. You feel me? Mm-hmm. All right, I'm putting you back in, man. I got a lot of questions, man, so let's go. 202, what's happening with you? Hello? Yeah. Hello? Hey, I got you, man. What's up? Yeah, I can hear you. Come on, brother. All right, cool, man. So pretty much, I was just wondering, bro. I was curious about, um, what do you call it, um, in regard to... In terms of the game, you know what I mean. Um, you emphasize a lot about not giving a fuck about this, and uh, I think that's huge. Not think giving a fuck. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hey, 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 hey. I don't want you whispering this shit through a straw like you got a straw on your mouth. So I didn't hear that. Like, I had a blue like you don't give a fuck about. <laughs> okay, well you said you oh, don't yeah. give a fuck about what? About pussy. About pussy okay, go ahead. And how you, you you always ask, you know. What do y'all do aside from fuck these girls? You know what I mean? I'm out here, fucking girls ain't a problem, and I'm trying to. And, and the, what I'm realizing now, there's so much. Wait, 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 wait. I don't understand what you're asking me, man. You said you. Oh, so I said all you heard me say. Go ahead. Oh yeah, so what I heard you say, bud, is pretty much, man. All, you know, all these guys going out here trying to fuck pussy, and you're all about going beyond just the pussy. So I wanted to hear from you to expand on that. On your views on, you know Okay, okay, I got you now I got you now, man How many pussies do a bitch have? One She don't, she got three Her pussy Yeah, three Okay What? What are they? It is uh, the uh, I'm thinking the mind But that would be the ears and, uh, Don't ask me. I asked you. I say the ears, mouth, and the pussy hole. You know. <laughs> okay. Especially. Let me let hold on. Let me get you to understand why you was basically on the right track, but you was wrong. Because if you would have said the brain, the mouth, and the pussy, then you'd have been right. There's a significant difference between the ears. In the brain. Do you know what that is? Hmm. One generates something out and the other one takes stuff in? No, no, no. Say no when you don't know. Yeah, I don't know. See, the ears, first of all, if you catch the brain, you have the whole woman. Do you understand that? If, if oh, yeah. you get hurt, in the brain, she's yours. If you get her any other way, she's only, if she see it, then she's only seeing some of the stimulator. That's not fucking with her brain. What I'm saying, if she hears something, she's only hearing shit that's stimulating her, but she's still going, if she's reserved, she's going to still be reserved no matter what she hears. Mm. Unless, mm. wait a minute, unless what she hears stimulates her brain. And to take that further, you want to stimulate her brain towards what you're trying to do or where you're trying to go. And what I'm saying is if you can accomplish that, once you stimulate her brain and you get her to see where you're coming from, see, you know what? Let me let me uh, get into tonight. Wait, wait. Hey, 202, I'll get back to you. I'm going to answer okay. your shit, but I want to, it's going to, I'm, I'm addressing that tonight in what I'm doing, so is what I'm saying. So let okay. me get another another group of questions, put you put you back in. Uh, excuse me, 876, what's up with you? Yeah, about the talking sideways question. Okay. Hello. Yeah, yeah I got you, you there? Um, yeah, yeah, my views on that is, if somebody talking sideways about punks, right, and I get aggressive and angry, then that must mean I'm a punk. So if somebody talking sideways about punks, I'm going to laugh with them because knowing that I'm not a punk, I'm not going to get involved. 
You get me? Yeah, I get you, and you're actually right. But one little correction. Don't even laugh at them. Because when they talking sideways, you don't want to give them no reason to say, what you laughing at, motherfucker? Then now you in it. Yeah, you true, know what I'm true. saying? Fuck that. You just stand yeah. there, and then when it's not for you, you go on about your way, bro. Because it's about continuing on. For all of you guys that's listening to me, it's about you guys continuing on until you my fucking age, until your fucking beard look like mine. And if you out there in them streets and you're not thinking the way I'm trying to get you to understand you should think, you're going to fucking get involved with some shit that could cost you much more than you wanted it to cost you. I'm talking about you got this nigga's bra out and you already know that this nigga's a damn fool and he carry a pistol and he had a uh, shootouts on the stroll about this bra and you tell him, this tip is killing me, man. I'm going to get this bitch. She choosing me. She got $10,000. I'm saying, well, man, yeah. if your life is worth $10,000, I'm not afraid to say, man, I ain't fucking with that bitch because I ain't trying to dodge this motherfucking nigga, you know, while I have this bitch. So if I am such a pimp and I get the pimp, now I got to be willing to ride down the street with a gun, be looking for this motherfucker all the time, you know, be scared about what, man, fuck that. I don't want to live like that. You fucking right. So I tell that bitch and I tell any motherfucker that has something to say to me, man, I threw that one back in. You get the bitch. (laughs) Shit. You see what I'm saying, brother? Hey, it's about, hey, Above all, it's about living. It's not about proof. You you are you're not twenty one. You already proved who you know. You ain't no punk. You know you already showing that you wanna you know learn shit. So what I'm saying is you don't have nothing else to prove unless somebody tap you on your shoulders and say, man, I wanna fuck you. You look like well, okay, you got to do whatever in that case. But unless it's something like that. I ain't getting it. Man, don't you know I was a Rolls Royce, serious, Pave, pop, mean everything you see is diamond, uh, Pave jewelry wearing motherfucker that hung out in the streets. Now, didn't carry no pistols. My mouth is a double barrel Uzi, and any motherfucker that fuck with me, I spray them. Why? Because I'm so sure. Of me. And whatever the fuck I'm finna do right now, I'm going right with it. I ain't thinking about it. And that's what I'm talking about, being a master. I ain't got time to think about the shit. I think about seven or eight things at one time, and the shit, they ain't even related. And then something else happened, another thing, and I'm finna jump right on that, because my mind is fluent. It's fluent in dealing with shit. And that's what motherfuckers in the street got to understand. Now, if this is, oh, it might not be. Let's see who this is. Uh, 832, I'm going to put you back in, 876. 832816. Yeah, what's up, man? This who, KB? Yeah, this KB. All right, man, come we on. We got cut off early. We had got cut off early. We didn't get cut off. I, I, I don't be, listen, let me tell you something, man. And when you call this show, you better understand this. I didn't really understand this show and how to do this shit at first. But now when I ask you to be quiet and you don't, I'm just cutting you off and you're going to be running your mouth and ain't nobody going to hear you but you. Because what I'm saying is this is my show. And when you call in and if I ask for it, hold on. When you call in and you, I ask for an answer and you give it, if it's wrong, Man, you can't argue with me about what you think. You can, but it ain't going to make a difference to me because it ain't my answer. I'm the one that asked the question, so I'm the one know the answer. Unless you know it, and then if you know it, right. you would motherfucking say it, and then I would say, yeah, that was right, man. So go ahead. What you, what you got? Oh, yeah, you saying how... 
is not a you you saying that it's not a factor having a pistol in the streets and shit. I don't know, man. You got a lot of followers out here, man. So yeah, I could talk a motherfucker down, but I keep one on me though. You know. Hey, but let me ask, let me ask you this, man. Let me ask, let me ask you this, KB. Yeah. Do you think in 1980 in D.C., Detroit, in Chicago, motherfuckers wasn't killed in pistols? Do you think? Hell yeah, they was killing pistols. Hold up, bro. Do you think that in the 80s? It was damn fools out in the streets talking about pimping. That's when gangbangers first came out. It was way rougher than it is now as far as when the gangbangers came out there talking about uh, trying to pimp and shit. So what I'm saying to you, hey, hey, listen. What I'm saying to you is why didn't I need a gun? Because I was in all them goddamn places. Pimp, Rolls Royce, jeweled up. Everybody can tell I. You, they couldn't tell I didn't have a gun, but I'm saying they could tell I was a motherfucking pimp. Why did I, Why didn't I get Jack? That's a question, or you just throwing it out? There? Yeah, that's a question. You're asking me a question. Well, yeah, that's a question. I would think that man, I would think because you were straight pimp, you were straight laced pimp, you wasn't indulging yourself in other activities where having a gun is a must. Drugs, let me drugs. tell you, let me, let me, let me, let me correct you. Let me correct you. Harlem, motherfucking, uh, 100 and, uh, 105th and, 100 and, it was in Harlem. Any motherfucking way. Nigga, roll up. Wanna get some weed. Because we knew Skip. We knew Ballhead Skip, me and Shante. And he told us to go up, and he gave us this street, and we go up there, and, uh, shit. Man, we looking at these niggas, goddamn it. You know, they was on a, a garbage strike, and it was stanking like a motherfucker, and, and niggas standing around, you know, looking like, nigga, don't come over here. You know what we did? We got to that street. We was at, <laughs> I wasn't in the Rolls Royce then. I was in, our, we was in Fleetwoods. And he was in his, and I was in mine. And we pulled over, and we got out, and and we went up and told told the motherfucker uh, asking, you know, told him we want some weed. And they didn't even speak to us. They gave us the cold shoulder, and we saw that they was, you know, they didn't know us. And, and, and I said, I said, nigga, I'm talking to Shantae. I Nigga didn't ball hit. No, no. Didn't the nigga tell us to come up here to come get some weed? And he said, Shante said, yeah, man, they did that. I got to tell that motherfucking bald head skip. Man, the, the nigga said bald head skip. Them niggas said, man, why you didn't say that from Jump Street? You know, because bald head skip was like a godfather uh, to them niggas. And, and, and what I'm saying is when they didn't know us from Jump Street, why didn't they try us? Why didn't they try it, baby? I mean, you, 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 I mean, just from my experiences, you're more hesitant to fuck with something that you really don't have a lot of knowledge of, you know? Um, no, man, no, no, man, no, no. What they seen in me and Shante was them. Even if we wasn't them, they saw that we was an older version of them and fuck with us at your own risk. They seen that. You know why? You know why they seen that? Because of the way we pulled up. We we didn't sneak up. We pulled up and stopped and got out. Hey nigga, we finna get up. You just walked over there, man. Them niggas gave us the cold shoulder. And we mentioned skip. We didn't even know the mention skip. If we had knew that, we'd have mentioned skip at first. But all skip told us to come up here, we will dead a service. But we didn't know the mention skip. We just thought skip was telling us where to go. She right. found out Skip was the motherfucking godfather. I mean, we knew he was, you know, heavyweight in New York. But but what I'm saying is if you think like you, then there's a lot of things you can't do. There's a lot of things that you won't do. There's a lot of things that you could do that you won't do. 
because of how you think. Hey, and you know what? You well, damn right. You damn right about that. You definitely right. Yeah, I don't but, even take that as a hey, insult. No, I ain't trying to insult you, man. What I'm trying to <laughs> listen to me, man. What I'm trying to get you to see. <laughs> what I'm trying to get you to see is I did all those things you're talking about not doing. And you talking about, well, today, man, they this and they that. And I just let you know they was <laughs> any any less than the 80s. They might not have had the kind of guns they got now, but they show sure had them. And what I'm saying is I did all the things you were talking about not doing. So my point is I didn't get fucked with because I know how to be in the streets. I learned how to be in the streets. And you motherfuckers are so afraid of the streets because you don't know how to be in the streets. And when you hear something that tells you how to be in the streets, instead of you adopting it and trying to do it, all you want to do is water it down so it can be, you know, compatible with you. That's what you do, KB. You water shit down yeah, because you want to – hey, hold up, man. Do you want me to put you back in the queue or whatever? Because I ain't asking to be interrupted. So, so what I'm saying is, you know, you hear some shit – and, and, and since you you a talker, you think you're a talker, most motherfuckers can't compete with you when it comes to representing that. So you think you can just talk when you on this goddamn show with me. But I'm letting you know, I ain't surface like that. I'm not, you used to dealing with surface motherfuckers. And soon as a motherfucker challenges you, you want to go in. I do that too, so don't get me wrong, it's not bad. You know, you want to go into that, you know, God damn it, woo, 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 bro. You know, you don't cuss or none of that, but you ain't letting nobody say nothing. But what you fail to do is determine if the motherfucker talking to you is right or not. Because just because they didn't agree with you and they basically saying you wrong don't mean you wrong. It just means you have to explain where you're coming from so this square motherfucker can see it. But you don't think like that because you're too young. You think like a young motherfucker that think he know every goddamn thing. Otherwise, that's why I know to, you know, put you, block you out and all this shit because I ain't fucking with you like that no more, man. What? What's up? If I knew Go ahead, I got you. On the phone with you. If I knew everything, I wouldn't be fucked with you for. I wouldn't have never been fucked with you for two years. So it's, it's a reason. Let me, why let, I, no, I no, no. You right. You you right. You right. And let me give you this credit. Ain't no nigga supposed to believe some and be soft about what he believes. So as far as that goes, you supposed to you know argue with me about shit when I'm saying you wrong, but. You're also supposed to determine does what I'm saying versus what you're saying have any merit. And you don't do that. You don't Hell yeah, do yeah. that. Hell yeah. What? Hell yeah, I got you. I got you. everything you just said. I'm taking everything. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. Hey, 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 KB, 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 let me show you how you full of shit. You may have digested everything I just said. But that has nothing to do with what I was talking about. Because what I was talking about was when I say something that goes against you, you want to make sure, you know, Rose will talk shit. I'm, you know, I ain't going to let you run me over. So you want to make sure you don't let me run you over. And I, I see that's where you're coming from. So, you know what? Shut this nigga out. Bam! The fuck trying to talk to you? Because niggas in the street both talk at the same time. I ain't tripping about that. I'm tripping about it doesn't matter if we both talking because you really ain't listening. Now, in that point, <laughs> because when I'm talking while you talking, I'm totally listening. There is no stop in the goddamn conversation. I don't care how much I disagree with you. I ain't got, you know, I'm totally listening to you. And you, uh, if you will admit, if you will admit, I have changed what I was thinking because we talked. 
So it's not that I know I'm right because I said it. What I'm saying is if something's right, I will accept it. But as far as when you hear me you going back and forth with them, yourself. Yeah. do what? That's dope. And you had to have first been listening to a motherfucker, even though you was talking while he was talking, you still listening, listening to what was coming out of his mouth, because you can determine whether or not you agree with whatever the fuck he was saying. So and what? keep on flowing. Hey, and keep on flowing. Hey, listen, man. And just what you just said is correct. And what I be doing is keeping on flowing so this motherfucker don't think he got nothing on me. But see, I be saying yeah. shit that the motherfucker that I'm talking to don't be hearing. And that's why, when yeah, it, yeah. listen to this. <laughs> listen, listen to this. That's why when it get to the heated point and we about to do something and, you know, we start going over what, what was the problem, and I say that shit a little slower. The motherfucker say, "Man, you know you what you you saying?" Woo woo. And then he hear what I said. We we understand what I said, or vice versa. He you know I didn't or whatever. What I'm saying is, we come to the motherfucking understanding. We both about living. <laughs> yeah. Hey, a real motherfucker. Is not about risking his life for shit that other people risk their lives for. And there's too many motherfuckers that risk their lives because somebody looked at them cross eyed or somebody said some goddamn shit that this mother. Man, fuck that. I'm going to lose my life because I was trying to do some kind of magnanimous shit that couldn't be done and I thought I could do it, you know, and got killed. If that's the case. Or I'm gonna be an old motherfucker that just died from old age. I'm not I'm not gonna let nobody take me out. I'm too i I'm too slick for that shit. I'm so goddamn slick a motherfucker mad at me. <laughs> Check this out. Listen to this. You remember the story? Listen to this, goddamn it, KB. <clears throat> you remember the story that I was telling you about. And I was talking about, I didn't mention no names, blah, 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 and this dude hit me. So during this conversation, you know, we go through some having words and shit, man. You know, he said, man, I ain't no point. Woo, I'll come see you, nigga. I don't give a fuck what you would do. I'm you. And unless you don't see that, bring your ass out here. Because I'm not going to let you tell me shit. And all I did was explain where we was coming from. But what I'm saying is, I told the nigga, man, don't call me no motherfucking mother with this shit. Because he actually had my number. So about two hours later, the nigga called me again. I said, man, this nigga. I get on the, on the phone and the nigga say, man, I got to apologize. And I, oh, nigga, about what? <laughs> and the nigga, the nigga say, Whatever I was telling him that he didn't want to hear, he did some research and found out I was telling the truth. Otherwise, Mm -hmm. some shit he said, some shit he said, I said, man, that's some gay shit. And that motherfucker did not like me saying that. Because he ain't, you know, he ain't no gay nigga. I got respect for the nigga. You know what? We was on the phone like 45 minutes after that. And we, you know, he's screaming, I'm screaming, because I'm not giving up shit. And he ain't giving up shit. And then we both realize, now one of us has to give up shit. Because what he believes is important for him. And what I believe is important for me. And only right. if right. we agree or want to see the other person's view, that's the only time their view is important. Because if you don't want to see it, Man, fuck their view. Hey, everything to me is simply think it, do it. I don't so think that I'm going to think about, about doing it. No, no, no. Fuck a motherfucker thinking about doing it. That's what, you know, man, shit. What I'm saying is this. I said instead of doing that. Oh, instead of doing that. Yeah, you're right. What I'm saying, I know you be listening to me, man, and you be, you be running shit by me, which is why I don't understand 
why you think you need to bump heads with me when I tell you what's wrong. Nigga, are, were you wrong or not? Halfway, hell yeah, I was. I wasn't no. standing up, I, I was wrong. Hey, 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 dude, dude, I already told you what, what's game in that shit. When a motherfucker give you a, a, a situation, instead of you addressing the situation, you want to make up some other situation similar that so you can talk about whatever the fuck you think. I didn't ask you that. Because if you ask me a goddamn question, I'm answering that question. I'm not making up a scenario so I can sound like I know what I'm talking about, like your young ass do, which I've already told you this shit three or four times a night, and you still doing it. That's because you don't listen to shit. You still doing that weak shit. Matter of fact, man, I ain't wasting well, no yeah, more time I was with you. Wrong. I ain't fucking wasting no more time with you, man. Hey, so, all you guys, listen to this shit. One of the most important things that you can learn from me is to know what the fuck you talking about. Especially when you're talking to a bra. I mean, don't really use words that have ambiguous meanings, you know, the reason you don't want to do this is because she can make the word mean what she wants it to mean, and she could kill your conversation's momentum. So so what I'm saying is you might not, you might not even know she didn't process uh, a particular word that you used as you meant it to be. So let me let me just check this out. Let's say that you say, hey, girl, I know you're going to get down with a brother. See, but she said, yeah. What I'm saying is you stupid motherfuckers will take for granted that she agreed with you. So you asking her to get down. And she said, yeah. No. What if it's a white bitch? What if it's a square black bitch? Otherwise, what I'm saying is, I don't take that chance. Let's say I made the mistake and said, girl, you act like you want to get down with a brother. And she happily says, yeah, I do. My second nature going to kick in. And I'm going to say, now, you know, I got to have cash money every day. My money got to be fresh. Now, if I say you're going to be down with a brother, that's because I ain't told her I'm a pimp and she don't know we talking about home. That's why you're going indirect like that. But since, let's say, I made the mistake and said that shit, I can't say, yeah, but I want you to, you know, whatever. I got to play with what I said and let the bitch know in the same jovial manner that I got to have fresh money every day. I don't, you know, live off yesterday's money. And if she is serious about fucking with me, if that don't make her ask the question, one of the next statements I make is going to make her start being curious about what the fuck I want her to do. In plain English, girl, I want you to hoe. If you can't tell her that, you ain't going to have a bitch. How you going to have a bitch and you can't tell her that you want her to hoe? (laughs) You guys kill me. I keep telling y'all that you don't want to use too many street terms. And you don't want to use it because of what I'm saying. You know, it, it could mean one thing to you and a totally different thing to her because English language is the only language where one word can have ten meanings. I keep telling y'all, when I get out of the world, I don't try to say no slick shit, none of the shit motherfuckers are saying. And if the bitch say some shit that they saying, then it kind of turn me off. 
and I don't really want to fuck with her. You know, but the shit I say is slick. See, I noticed a lot of you motherfuckers are afraid to come out and tell a motherfucking bitch what's up. See, that's the number one reason it takes you so long to catch a bro. Man, I've been putting my work in, man. Man, how long you been fucking with the bitch? About 10 weeks. <laughs> hey, and I didn't hurt. I didn't hurt motherfuckers talk about fucking with a bitch a year. <laughs> Come on, man. What kind of goddamn shit is that? I ain't finna say no slick shit. You know what I'm saying? I ain't finna play with no bitch. You know, so what I'm saying is when you talking to a broad and you and you you know saying everything but but what it is with you, she know that. She feel that. And that bitch is totally shying away from you. And I know the the reason you, you guys uh be saying that slick shit to them bras, woo, slick wears woo. It's because you don't want to look like a big old L7 motherfucker. <laughs> but if you speak to her right and you command her attention, you can say, come see this cat. And that bitch would be fucking thrilled to come see that motherfucker. And when you start explaining why you asked her to come see it, she start explaining why she see exactly what the fuck you see. Because I ain't trying to get the bitch pussy. I don't even want the bitch money. I want the bitch brain. Because when I get that bitch brain, the pussy, the money, possessions, Anything, all of it's coming. So my time in the streets have taught me how to be that way. <laughs> Just think of what these motherfuckers and that stuff that you go be like. Oh, my God. I, I just wish I could have a hidden camera. See, bitches definitely want to hear that you ain't no big old square. You know, they don't want to know you ain't got no damn game. So you do want to sound like, you know, you know what you're doing. But what y'all don't know is knowing what you want to say and where you want the conversation to go makes you cool as fuck as long as you do it. Because the whole time you at her, you know you on stage. And as long as she's listening, you know she involved in the play. <laughs> at least that's how I think. I'm acting. One man show. Uh, I'm styling. You know, I'm flashing my jewels on that bitch. You know, I'm flashing my pearly whites on her. And I'm saying slick ass goddamn shit that this bitch can't resist. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> See, y'all wouldn't know what the hell I'm talking about because most of y'all ain't got my goddamn course. And you don't know. I know, man. You're supposed to uh, 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 walk up to a bitch cussing and all that. <laughs> but those of you motherfuckers that's fucking with me, especially you motherfuckers that's in SWU, you go understand what I just said about knowing where you want the conversation to go. I I hate doing this, but this is an example of how I get at a broad. Now, I might see this broad at a restaurant somewhere or somewhere out, and I have decided that she needs to be handled. So when I think that, I'm going for the juggler. Right there. You see, I know what I want. I want her to submit. And I'm going for the juggler. I ain't going to play around. I already made myself see that before I even talked to her. See, I've prepared an attack in a matter of seconds. And I'm going to follow my plan no matter what. See, you guys always ask me what I say or how do I catch. 
I'm going to give you two lines I would use on a hoe or a square, bitch. It don't matter to me. And we'll talk about what these lines represent after I tell them to you. Now, if the woman asks, hey, what are you doing? I'd say something like, sitting here trying to look as cool and confident as I possibly can so I could exude this aphrodisiac type of cool that your hormones might respond to. Are the girl. <laughs> and and I'm going to look, after I say it like that, just like that, I'm going to look her right in her motherfucking eyes. And, and when I ask, are they, I'm going to raise my eyebrows. But I'm not going to smile. See, you can play it hard or soft, you know, but I like to play hard. So I ain't smiling. So as I wait for her response, I'm not giving her any uh, encouragement to fuck with me because I'm so delightful. And he has a beautiful smile. Hold on. None of that goddamn shit excites me. See, hey, bro, the one that asked me about having that fucking attitude, this is being cold. What I'm talking about right now is being cold, and it puts her on guard, which you'll notice right away in her response. And when she says, you're mean, that only means she sees it and likes it. The fuck out of it. That's all that means. Hold on, let me get this caller. What's up, caller? Eight uh, seven eight six. Yo yo, what's, what's happening with you? Yo, what's up? Yeah yeah. No, that man, what's up with you? Yeah, ain't nothing much. I man. can't hear you, man. Something's going on with your phone. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. I yo, ain't from the hold up, man. Take you got me on speaker. Hey. Yeah, I'm cool right now, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Now I was gonna go ahead and um, break down what you said with the you with the, with the broad was whatever you say. You know, looking cool as possible. Uh, what that what that line do is it make the broad see you. It make it make her focus on you. You 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 basically telling her what what you want her to think, as opposed to saying, "Hey, I'm fine, I'm cool." You just you know, say you just hey, elaborate on the hold details. On, it was, hold yeah. on, hold on, hold on. Your fucking answer. Was we took whatever amount of seconds. In the first ten seconds, I was about to stop you, but that fucking last shit you said is it. I want her to think what I'm saying, so I'm gonna plant seeds. I ain't trying to motherfucking see what that bitch think. I'm letting her know what I think. I'm trying to be cool as fuck, girl. Get somebody to really notice it and take a whiff of this cologne I got. Whatever I say to that bitch. But I ain't trying to find out where she coming from. I'm trying to see if she want to fuck with me. Fuck where she coming from. That bitch could have been going to spend the night with her her girlfriend. And if I get to tell her, what you got going on after this? Oh, well, I'm going with my girlfriend. I think I'm going to play uh, Scrabble and bitch. I ain't trying to hear that shit. <laughs> I'll let her know whoa, 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 why she said that. Whoa, 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 girl. I got something way more exciting for you to do. Well, what if the bitch say, oh, no, nah, that's all right. Okay, fuck you then, bitch. Well, if she say, what's that? <laughs> shit. That's more action. And what I'm saying is the only thing you can do when you like this is win because you don't fuck with shit you ain't gonna win. <laughs> hey, Sean, Brooklyn Sean, if you own this deal, I'm telling you, man, this is dope. Hey, real shit, man, 786. You got anything else, bro? Yeah, yeah. It seemed like, you know, saying, hey, hey, that's what falls, what you just said right now, that's what falls under that selfish and conceit. You know, that shit be working like a motherfucking charm, man. <laughs> For real. Well, 
I've been selfish and conceited and didn't catch a bitch for a year. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, you know, but I've also been selfish and conceited and caught four, five bitches in a year. <laughs> you yeah, know, so, got to do with it, a bitch. It, it, hey, that's right. There you go. There you go, man. It's got something to do with how much you believe and what the fuck you're doing, and you got to know right. fully what you're doing, so you ain't doing something where you're going to win all the time. So unless you accept you're going to lose sometimes, you don't need to play this game. And it's, the object is to learn what makes you lose. And when you learn that, you become a real motherfucker that deal with bitches and you stop trying to play all these little angles. But you guys <laughs> never get that far because you guys don't believe in shit and you don't never go far, far enough. First problem, the bitch gone. First problem, you ain't got no money. Man, a real nigga like me, man, as soon as I started pimping, man, I remember what, uh, we had to put up a 750. And when you first start you know, you, you ain't got no, no bras and you catch a bitch and you start pimping on the bitch. All you thinking about is getting to that 750. Because if you can get to 750, you're going to be pimping. You know that because if you get to 750 and the bitch catch a case that night, at least you got it. And you can finagle with the bondsman. You know, man, I know it's 750, man, but let me give you 500, man, you know, so I can, you know, get to room, you know, let the bitch go to work, woo, woo, woo. You kick it with him like that, he'll say, okay. At least that's our experience. We we know how to deal with bondsmen. We just kick the truth to him. Man, I can't, you know, give you all the money because I can't pay for my room tomorrow. Then the bitch go, you know, can't give me no, you know, I'm out there, man. I'm pimping hoes, man. He said, well, man, you got a 647B case. So I know. You a pimp, but can I? Tr- well, man, here five hundred. Woo woo. The motherfuckers will say, "Okay, I just want my two fifty, or I'll come get that bitch." Man, you ain't got to worry. But excuse me, we got the hiccups. I'm spitting real game. I told y'all when I spit it, I yeah, get yeah, the yeah. heat. <laughs> Keep popping. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that happened like that, man. But every time I start spinning real game to y'all, I get the hiccups. <laughs> so, <laughs> matter of fact, when I be trying to hide the fact that I'm spinning some shit, you know, you know, if I'm hiccuping, you better take notice to this shit. Because yeah. I think yeah, this game so powerful, man. <laughs> the game's so powerful, man. They don't want you to put it out there in the universe, man. That's what it is. Hey, hey, man, this shit is powerful, and, and that's what this 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 uh, uh, station is about, man. Niggas, I mean, you know, you might you don't sound like no young nigga, but you know, you might be a motherfucker that you know know a lot of shit about this game. But it don't you know hurt to kick it. It don't hurt to think something and then spit it out in the public in this arena and then hear the reaction. And then I'm saying, man, if you could do that shit, it's a lot of shit you can experience here mm-hmm. before you actually do it on the street. Because we being real, man, that's some punk shit, man. You know, man, that's some fly ass shit, man. What made you think of that, blah blah? Well, I mean, you, because in theory, you know, we all have a certain understanding, and you don't. Know, the average motherfucker will never get the understanding I'm talking about because they they ain't willing to go in the streets. But you don't have to actually get my course to have this understanding. You know, if you think you got it, then just keep going. You don't need nothing I'm doing. But unless hey, you hey, understand, but. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hey, but I got your course. Now, let me tell you what that course did for me. You know what I mean? It it, it brought everything on a, in, into perspective. You know what I mean? You, you you almost like you learn a lot of shit about yourself, shit that you was already doing before. But that course, what it does is like buy you a brand new car. Like you may have a whole lot of features, but that course tell you what features is 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 okay. This feature do that. If I want this, I could do this. If I want that, I could do that. 
It basically tell you every single thing of what you're doing. That's what. That's hey, what let I me got tell you. Course. Let me tell you something. If well, man, you need to actually get in my my fucking uh, SWU. But what I'm saying is, bro, that's what you're supposed to have gotten. But what I'm saying is, there's another level, the master mastering it. You know, and the thing that people don't know, which I I explained with that athlete ath, athlete type scenario, but most people it went over their heads, but it didn't go over Sean's head. And it might not have actually gone over your head, so I don't want you to say nothing about it. But what I'm saying is, in that SWU, and you have the whole course, bro? Yeah. Then all you got to do is is free. All you got to do is, is, hey, man, why don't you, uh, 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 Council of Extraordinary Men, uh, that's the name of the group. Hit it, man, because what I'm going to do is show you how to master what you've learned. <clears throat> yeah. Council, you there, Council bro? Council of Extraordinary Men. Yeah, yeah, Council of Extraordinary no. Men. Yeah, that's a Facebook group. But, you know, we're going to do a okay. lot of shit on YouTube. And, man, just just fucking uh, get it, go to there and put a request in. I'm not going to accept it. I'm going to send you uh, uh, something to tell you to send me the proof of purchase, which is the email that I sent you the course on. And you send that to me, then I send you a request. Uh, I mean, a, a link to make a request. And then you make the request, and then you get in. Okay, for sure. Make sure I All right. That. Hey, I'm going to put you back in, bro. We got just a few minutes. All right. You know, I've been tough. Hey, hey, let me tell you guys something. I love this kind of shit. This is a talk show. I don't. I mean, I have I have subjects and different topics, but that's bullshit. If we if we not being cool, you know, like we are now, shit. I motherfucking love this. So seven one three. I'm sorry. What's up with you, bro? Is me? Yeah. Yeah. Seven one three. Yeah, I got you. Oh man, oh it's an honor, Mister Bitterdose. But uh, I'm a first time caller. This is David. But uh, I have a question about SWU. Um, how often does the course, you know, present itself, and can you go at your own pace? Because I work and go to school full time. So how does that work? Well, um, well, 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 well. Let me see. Working and going to school, that they they they're compatible. So what I'm saying is you have to understand that SWU is something you got to really participate in because if not, I'm going to, like, X you out of it. So you, there are certain things you have to do, but it's not going to take you hours and hours because you had the course. This is why I, you have to have the course because when I give you these exercises to do, you're going to be referring to what you learned in the course and the object of what we no, I'm not gonna do that. But anyway, it's a whole plan, and it's being executed as we speak, bro. And what you need to do? Yes, do you have the course? No, sir. I've only been listening for about a month, a few weeks. Well, or something. I just you know got turned on. Well, to you. well, what I'm saying is this, man. Ask Rosebud.com, you know, Rosebud got two Ds in it, or uh, down and dirty com. That's right, down and dirty com. Uh, both of those <laughs> are my sites. You can go on there and see what I got to offer, uh, you know, but you got to have the whole course to get an SWU. Exactly. If you don't ha- exactly. But, but I'm, listen, if you don't have the whole course, then there's going to be a doggone, uh, not, uh, not tuition, but <laughs> shit, fuck, what the fuck. Uh, anyway, it's going to be a, a certain amount you got to pay the goddamn. Yeah, tuition. Yeah, so <laughs> it is yes, tuition. Sir. You got to pay your yes, tuition. Sir. So, and, and that's, that's going to be probably a little more than what the course costs. So, what I'm saying oh, is. Oh, really? It is. So, it's not going to be free. Okay. 
and it's only free yes, no, 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 to I, people I, I, that I, I, has I, I, already. Free. But it's only going to be free to the people that it's really available to alumni. And what I'm saying is, if you're an alumni and you have the whole course, then you ain't got to do shit but ask, can you get in? If it's full now, you can get in next time. You don't got to do shit because this is what I wanted to do all the time. But some people want to get in for the next semester, and they, let's say, it's only like a month away, and I know they can't learn the course in a month, but I'll tell them you buy the Mm -hmm. fucking course right now, then you can get in whatever next month, but then you got to be studying the course, you know, until whichever that date comes. And when it does come, I'm going to make what I'm doing very clear. I'm, I mean, it, it, it's about very fucking clear as to what I'm actually doing that's going to allow you to master being confident. And that that's the whole thing about uh, SWU. It's really mastering <clears throat> using your confidence instead of allowing your, your confidence to use you. Which is what a lot of guys are doing now. They don't they don't realize it until the school starts. And then you know I'll I'll show them how the confidence that you have right now is not being utilized. You know otherwise the confidence that you have right now is being aggressive in using you. And I will show you how it's doing it, and we will stop that. That's what it's all about. Hey, I'm gonna put you back in seven one three. Hey, hey, I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean to cut you off while you was talking. Go ahead. No, I was just saying thank you. You were very clear answering my questions. Uh, I just got another question. Why you call it, Why is your name Bitter Dose? Like, why is it bitter? Because when I was a young motherfucker, when I said my name was Rosebud, they always wanted to try to see some soft shit about that, like I'm a flower or something. And I would tell them, motherfucker. <laughs> You know, yeah. I, 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 hey, like a motherfucking rose, you touch me in the wrong place, I got thorns and I'm sticky. And you know, as sweet as that True. that name Rosebud sounds, I have a bitter dose for your motherfucking ass if you fuck with me. <laughs> everybody know, yes, sir, everybody yes, know what a bitter dose was. Hey, and let me tell you something. I used to spit it at people like that. <laughs> Cause I'm a short nigga. <laughs> All right, bro. I'm, wow. I'm putting you back in. Eight three two two five eight. What's going on? Hey, this is Drew Ball. I, I knew I had a question I wanted to ask you just on GP. Okay. Um, I know the pimp game nowadays. These new guys trying to change it up, but I saw something uh, Saturday that interests me. You, you ha- I know you have. To, it's very important to train your hoes how to deal with you. But do pimps actually train their hoes on what type of niggas they go out and fuck with? Well, man, I'm a motherfucker. See, it would have been a better question to say, do they? Do you train your hoe uh, to see what kind of trick to fuck with? Because my bitches didn't fuck with niggas. I didn't even let no bitch of mine think niggas was tricks. Part of that okay. was because I had white bitches. But uh, it, actually, a lot of it was because I had white bitches. I didn't want no white bitch thinking niggas was tricks. So I tell them, you know, niggas this, niggas that. But I also knew that a nigga that was a trick, he ain't going to do nothing but try to fuck the dog shit out the bitch because he paid for oh, it. Oh, shit. And he lied. That's huh? <laughs> that's what, man, that's what the whole told me. She was like, you're not trying to buy no pussy. You just want to fuck shit out of me. Like, just fucking around on the strip. No. Like, I that, you know. I got no, what I'm saying, man. Hey, hey, man. What I'm saying is, when a trick, black trick, buy some pussy, his mind is like that. It ain't his mind ain't like that to keep him from buying it. When he buys the pussy, his mind is like, man, I didn't pay for this pussy. I'm gonna fuck the shit out. You know how niggas feed, man. You know we all like that. So what I'm saying is, when you got a broad, you know that's a white bitch. And you know a whole bunch of niggas want to fuck with her. By her not fucking with niggas, put her in a frame of mind where she going to get more money. Because if she fuck with a nigga, 
she going to be damn near going for whatever that motherfucker got, if, as long as it's enough, bare minimum. But if you don't fuck with them motherfuckers, you know, let's say this motherfucker got 40 bucks, and you you know he wants some head, you go to do the, and some motherfucker rolled by that had $800 that they wanted to spend. See, that bitch could have got that 800 That's how I think. And I'm saying that 800 might not have never came. But what I'm saying is shit. I'd rather my bro think like that than to be some kind of bargain basement bitch. That's my philosophy. You there, Drew Bone? Okay. Something happened to the nigga phone. Okay, you guys. I have had a really fucking good time. And if you notice, there was a lot of different motherfuckers asking questions. I don't know what made you motherfuckers decide to utilize me in this way, but I am so happy you did. And you see, no question is off limits. There's nothing you can say that's going to make me really, I mean, of course, I'm going to react. But you got to remember, don't be scared of the messenger. Oh shit! These these motherfuckers coming. Fuck it! I'm what's up? Hey, that's that's you at KB. Yeah, it's me, man. What's up? Hey, the only the reason why we utilize is because your motherfucking wisdom is over the top, man. Straight up. <laughs> For real, yeah, man. I'm pretty sure you already know that. Yeah. Well, so I, know, I, I believe you that. Oh, you, you didn't know it. Hey, hey, man, hey, man, I challenge motherfuckers, man. You know, and I ain't trying to have no soft-ass motherfucker fucking with me because niggas run soft motherfuckers over. All they got to do is see it. Some kind of way, uh-huh. any kind of goddamn way, you might think you're doing some slick as fuck and a motherfucker see it as some punk shit. I try not to let them see shit I do. That's why if you're looking at me, I'm going to make sure you see, I see, you see me, but I ain't going to keep looking at you. Fuck you. I'm turning around and every goddamn thing. I don't have shit to prove. Okay. Uh, hey, KB, I'm from the uh, 703. I got you too. KB, I get back with you. 703-200, what's happening? Okay. Silence. Seven one three two five seven. What's up with you? Hey, Mister Bidos. One more question, man. Uh, can you Go ahead, man. The lifestyle. Yeah, the lifestyle. Yeah. What was it? Uh, what's it like to you know do cocaine and stuff? I've never done it. Weed is my choice. You know, what, what's that cocaine like? Because you know the pills used to had to you know do that lifestyle. I just want to know. Hey, hey, check it out. Check it out. Check it out. To be honest. Pimps used to fuck with cocaine because they thought cocaine represented having money. And they wanted right. to be seen as having money. Because it, 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 when cocaine first came out, only only the rich people had it. You know, niggas in the in the hood had it too. But just certain but motherfuckers would buy it. I, I guess that's why I never uh, tried it because I've I never been in that circle. I, I never had that money like that. I don't know. I don't know. No, what listen, is? man. Don't nobody ask you about what the fuck you was doing. You asked why in the fuck, you know, about the pimps and that shit. And I'm trying to tell yes, you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That it was about money. It was about representing having money. But then when everybody started seeing what pimps do, a lot of motherfuckers wanted to do it. You remember Superfly when it came out? Shit, everybody went crazy about Kane. Hey, what was Superfly about? Do you remember that movie? Not really. That's for my time. Okay. You don't know Superfly. what it was about. Superfly. Superfly, everybody thought Superfly was this tip ass motherfucker. But Superfly was cocaine. And the word on the streets was fly. Otherwise, fly was the top shit. Man, that's a fly ass motherfucker nigga there. But a motherfucker would ask a uh, priest, they would ask priest, man, is this shit good? And the motherfucker would say, fly. This shit is fly. And then 
after he got known to have the fly cane, people would come up to him and say, does this shit fly? So he would say, this <laughs> is super fly. That's what super fly mm. was about, bro. Okay, wow. <laughs> That's from Thank a motherfucker that's 65. Huh? Thank you, Mr. Bitterdose. Thank you, sir. You know it. You know it, brother. 703-200, what's up? Hey, Rosebud. Come on, man. What's happening? Yeah, I got you. Yeah, man. Um, Yeah, I'm saving up my pennies so I can buy your course, man. But uh, I wanted to ask, you know, um, what about your looks and your money, man? Does it matter? No, man. I knew a dude named Ugly George. I knew a dude named Insane Wayne. I knew One-Armed Joe. I knew another motherfucker, One-Leg Joe. So what I'm saying is none of that shit matters. Ugly George was seriously ugly. And his bitches, (laughs) if they seen him on the streets and they wanted him, they would say, Ugly! (laughs) And that motherfucker would tell him, Yeah, what's up? Big, ugly, black motherfucker. But he had game, and he knew what to tell a bitch. And he had like five, six bitches, white bitches, Mexicans. He he was from Oakland. Yeah, motherfucker knew how to have it. So the answer is, fuck no, your looks don't matter. What matters is your mind. Is your mind strong enough to be broke and still get at a bitch? Is your mind strong enough to have a motherfucking big old scar on your cheek that you just got in this fight? And get at a bitch. Is your mind strong enough to handle adversity, bro? Uh-huh. That's what this shit is about. Hmm. All right? Right, right. All Let right, man. I'm going to put you back. Okay, come on. Um, okay, what you think about um, all these women um, who are complaining about these, these guys in Hollywood harassing them? I mean, well, man, come me, on, I man. That... They've been doing it. Uh, hey, they've been doing it. It's a, it's, it is a thing. But but what I'm saying is I don't necessarily think uh, like that Senator Al Franken, what, you know, he, he had to resign and shit. I don't think that's fair because in 60 or whenever he did the shit, people was doing that shit. Now, if it's not right because people was doing it, so he do have to get called to, on it. Of course, and he's apologized, blah, blah, blah. But he shouldn't lose his livelihood because he used to be a comedian. And, you know, comedians will do anything for a laugh. So if he, like, try to grab a bitch ass, it's for a laugh. It, it ain't because he thinks she's a sex object. He knows that if he grab a dude's ass, it would go show that he's a faggot. And he didn't want to show that he's a faggot, so he grabbed a bitch ass. And what I'm saying is it ain't right, and it ain't okay that he did it. But 20, 40 years later, when this motherfucker didn't, you know, change his mentality about that, he should be given credit for that. That's what I think, man. The mother motherfuckers, Harvey Weinstein, or all the motherfuckers that did all the crazy shit, they get, they need to get what's coming to them. But at the same time, it shouldn't be a big witch hunt. You know, now all these bras forty years ago. Oh, I feel emboldened now, and I, I could tell. Well, bitch, you should have told at least twenty years ago, even if it, even if it was old. I'm saying you didn't wait it this long. You can't. I mean, it is still a crime that did happen. And as far as where they're coming from, people should pay. I think, well, I mean, I think that they're just trying to come up, you know, uh, get some money. Hey, I'm not, this is not no I political think, show. This this is not no political show, so I don't want to go back and forth. Hey, cool. Hey, 972, what's your uh, question, bro? Hey, right, well, I had a, a really quick question, man, and uh, I think I got an answer it, but I still want you to kick something to it. Come you on. Me? Yeah, okay, come on, bro. So, uh, how, how how important is keeping motherfuckers out your shit, your business? 
Let me tell you something, man. Do you know that I firmly believe there is no question that you can think of that you can't answer? Now, if you said to yourself, well, what is rocket fuel made of? Okay, you can't answer that. If, if, if you wanted to know which, hey, let me ask you this. If, if, I, if I got a 100-pound box and you got a 50-pound box and we dropped them from 10 stories up, which one would hit the ground first? I don't know. I think they're both hit at the they same would, time. They, hey, they, that's right. They would hit the ground at the same time because that's how gravity works. But what I'm saying is people be tripping on what they don't know. People be tripping on shit. All I'm saying is if you're the kind of motherfucker like me that believes that he knows almost every goddamn thing, which I know there's a million things I don't know, but I still believe. Otherwise, when something come up that I really don't know, I'm going to listen to whatever that word is. And I'm going to see if I can see what kind of meaning is coming from that word. But if I can't, I'm going to ask how that word is used. And then once they tell me, then I'll give them my judgment. A lot of times that's wrong. But more than the times that is wrong is right. Because that's how you think about yourself. You don't question what you don't know. What you do is find out answers to what you don't know. You already know you don't know it. So, of course, well, what about it that I don't know? That's a good question. But I don't need to ask that question because I already know it. There's hella shit about it I don't know. That's why I'm studying it. I don't play with myself. Hey, you guys, listen to this. This was a dope-ass show. But I'm gone, man. Get in the archives. Deal with it and check me out. Keep fucking with me, man. I, hey, you guys don't know. I might be dropping some shit on you about SWU. Not about it, but from SWU that you can benefit from. Hey, happy fucking holidays. I got another week, so we do have another one. But if I miss you on my last one of the year, be safe. Don't be trying to prove nothing. You're already grown. I'm out.